Hello everyone, uh, welcome to God's Untainted Word, this is uh, Chris, and uh, we're doing the second day of the study of um, Derek Prince's book, God's Medicine Bottle, um, just in case you missed the first one, it'd be good to go watch the first one, but this is the this is the book here, um, Derek Prince, as I said in the first video, if you'd watched that, um, it's very good at um, explaining things, he's a really good teacher, good preacher, and his books are really awesome, he covers a lot of different um, topics, biblical topics um, and it's really awesome to just be able to go through his books and really get a full a better understanding about God's word so this is the, the study God's medicine bottle and we're just going to go through um, in the last video I suggest you watch the first one it's an intro um, but we're going through Proverbs 4 20 to 22 which is that's Derek Prince just so you just in case you don't know um, but have you had you watched the first one you'd probably know and you don't have to go too much into that but um probably it's for 20 to 22 is my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh um, other translations um, speak of all flesh as being total physical body um, yeah, so we've got to, um, so we can use the Bible to actually heal our physical body, not so, not just our physical body, but our spiritual body as well. And 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 this is the sorts of things that we can get from our our Bibles, from God's Word. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go into start doing um, the first lesson because uh, Derek Prince, just to cover um, recap. Um, he covered the he broke this proverb up into four categories um, about the directions on the as he, as he put it metaphorically on the on God's medicine bottle you have directions when you get a medicine bottle obviously you buy the directions if you go by the directions of the bottle what the bottle says um, you're almost guaranteed healing or, or, or um, relief from that that um, sickness or, or something that you have that illness that you have so um, he's He's broken this sum, uh, this sum, sorry, this proverb up into four segments, and these are the four instructions that he followed in order for him to become healed from his uh, chronic eczema that he had, um, being in the desert for a long, long gated time. So, the four steps are: attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, and keep them in the midst of thine heart. So. We're going to go into the four different steps. Each each video is going to be each step um, and each chapter from this book that I'm going to read out. And we're going to go into each chapter as in each of those steps. And then later on we'll go into, um, as I mentioned in the other video, we'll go into uh, the closing prayer potentially. Um, we'll, um, well, we'll do a closing prayer anyway um, on the last video. But also um, do some study questions. Um, and the answers are there as well and then potentially go through some Derek Prince's books that I, I know of to be uh, quite reliable and I've got a lot out myself just a suggestion um, to not to point to Derek Prince per se but to point to the spirit behind the words that he speaks in the, his books and in the sermons and um, you can sense the spirit of God in it and you can learn a lot and get closer to God through people such as Derek Prince um, he's a true blessing upon this world when he was alive um, so, without further ado, we'll do a prayer, a quick prayer, I will do a quick prayer and then we'll get into it. Um, Father God, I just uplift this uh, study to you now, Father, we, as we go through the book, Derek Prince's book, God's Medicine Bottle. I felt led by your spirit to, to do some videos and a lesson on this and do a study on this. Um, so I thank you, Father, that you've given us our word, Your uh, sorry, your word to freely... Um, read through study and um, get to know you because every all your promises are true father that when your promises say that if we were to in, in, attend to your words incline our ears to your sayings and let them not depart from our, our eyes and keep them in the midst of our heart that there is life unto those that find them and health to all our flesh and when you say that that's a promise father that we can cling to if we if we obey what you're saying so we we just give you all the glory and praise father and just be with us 
um, and allow this to reach out to some people that need this right now that might be going through some illnesses and sicknesses and 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 they just want to get closer to god in the in the time of trials and tribulations father because not only is it a physical um, healing that we need from time to time, but it's also a spiritual healing that we need from time to time. And we just ask for this. So thank you, Father. Give you all the glory and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Um, sorry if you hear it scratching in the background or squeaking in the background. It's my chair. It's not the flashiest chair in the world. So anyway, let's get into it. So the first first uh, chat, um, the next one that's going to come up is um, actually, no, I've got that wrong. Sorry. It's that one. That's the first one that's going to pop up. So we'll, we'll just keep it on that for now. So actually, no, we'll keep it on that. Sorry. So anyway, the first of the four directions on God's medicine bottle is attend to my words. We need to understand that when God speaks to us, he requires our undivided attention. If almighty God was willing to speak to us at all, surely any sense of propriety would indicate that we need to listen to God with our full and respectful attention. But that is not really the attitude of many people today. Because of the tremendous proliferation of the media, radio, television and so on, and because of various different factors in our contemporary culture, we have cultivated the practice of listening to two things at, a, at one time. We suffer from disease, from a disease which could be called divided attention. I'm amazed when I got into a home and uh, when I got into a home and see teenagers doing their homework and watching TV at the same time. They are not giving full attention to one or the other. In many places nowadays, we have what is known as background music. We carry on a conversation, but at the same time, with one ear, we are listening to the music in the background. For me personally, this is intensely frustrating. I'm the kind of person that desires to concentrate on something and not dissipate my attention. I think that it is something God has conditioned in me and I'm not going to give it up. If I am having a conversation, I want to listen to the person who is talking. If I'm listening to music, then I want to listen to the music. I love music. When I listen to it, I listen to it with my full attention. But you see, all through the Bible, the primary key is to receive healing from God, uh, the Oh, uh, sorry. But you see, all through the Bible, the primary key to receive healing from God is hearing. Let me put that simply. The key to healing is hearing. Jesus said to his disciple, take heed what you hear. He also said, take heed how you hear. We have to put the two together. It is what we listen to and how we listen to it. There's another passage in the Old Testament relating to healing which brings out the same emphasis. It is in Exodus 15.26, where the Lord told Israel through Moses, this is KJV again, um, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of uh, the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he healeth thee. So I'll read that in a bit in easy English. If you will diligently hearken to my voice, listen to my voice of the Lord, or listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give your ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will not I will put none of these diseases upon you which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that heals you. So that's the easier version of this one here. Notice that final statement. It goes right along with the medicine bottle. I provide the medicine bottle and I am your doctor. In modern Hebrew, that is exactly what that word would be translated. I am the Lord, your doctor. God is saying to his people, I am willing to be your doctor, the doctor of your physical body, but... He says there are conditions. He begins with an if. Now with this one here, you see it starts, um, Exodus 15, 26, you see it starts with an if. If you do this. Same, with, I believe, with, um, oh no, yeah. So this one here, anyway, it says if. So the first condition, the basic one, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Again, it is what we listen to. 
The word is, that is translated and diligently hearken in Hebrew is a repetition of the verb to listen. It goes like this, If thou wilt listen, listening to the voice of the Lord thy God, all the emphasis is on listening. When I was seeking healing for myself, I came across this verse in conjunction with Proverbs 4, 20 and 22. To 22 and I asked myself, what does it mean to listen, listening? It was as though God gave me an answer. He said, you ha you've got two ears, a right ear and a left. To listen, listening means to listen to me with both ears. With your right ear and with your left. Don't listen to me with your right ear and, and something else with your left. Because the result of that will be confusion. And God is not the author of confusion. The emphasis is on attending, listening, giving God your undivided attention. This is a primary instruction on God's medicine bottle. It matters what we hear and, what, and how we hear. It is not only the key to being healed. It is also the key to receiving faith and of course... They can be very. They can go cl closely together. Sorry, it is faith that enables us to receive the healing that God has provided and to benefit from the medicine. One of my favourite scriptures, which is also made real to me during this long period in hospital, is Romans ten seventeen. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Lying there, I was continually saying to myself. I know if I, have, I had faith, God would heal me. But then I would say immediately after that, but then I don't have faith. What I said, or when I said I don't have faith, I found myself in what John Bunyan in Pilgrim Progress describes as a slow, a slow of despond, a dark, lonely valley of despair. One day, as I was reading my Bible, my eyes fell on Romans 10:17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. There were two words that leaped out for me, at me. Faith cometh. In other words, you need not despair. Maybe you have no faith, but faith comes. If you don't have it, you can get it. Of course, I looked to see how faith comes, and it says, Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Again, just as in Proverbs 4, 20, 22, I was directed right back to the Word of God. I began to analyze that verse and I saw that we start with the Word of God. That's the beginning. We listen to the Word of God carefully and out of that listening, there comes what the Bible calls hearing, the ability to hear God. And then, out of the hearing, there, be, there develops faith. It is the Word of God which, when we first attend to it, produces healing, uh, hearing. And as we continue hearing, out of that healing, faith develops. In a sense, everything depends on how we approach the Word of God. Do we approach it with undivided attention? Do we listen with both ears? Are we focused on the Word of God? Do we get into a condition spiritually and mentally with a, which the Bible calls hearing, where we are able to hear what God is saying? Many people read the Bible but never hear God. They do not hear their God because their minds are taken up with other things. They are wondering how they are going to pay the rent or what the weather is going to be like or they are concerned with the political situation. There are other forces at work in their minds. Consequently, they never develop hearing. We must develop hearing and out of hearing develops faith. It is the attitude of God's word that produces healing and out of healing comes faith. We are always directed back to the Word of God and how to receive it, how we receive it. So the first instruction on God's medicine bottle is attend to my words. So I hope everyone got a lot out of that one. Um, I really, I I'm certainly did. Um, and I think that if I have got, I'm getting something out of this and I truly believe that um, uh, someone else, at least one other person out there will be getting something out of this. Um, I know it's quite boring um, that the boring in the sense that there's not anything going on on the screen or anything like that but um again it comes down to listening you know just listen to the words that i'm saying and 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 what um well listen to what i'm saying in regards to what Derek prince is saying and how the spirit is speaking to you and how this relates back to scripture and what we should be doing so that's just the reality of it but um all glory goes to god of course um and i really really am thankful that um, God is 
been there for me and been there for all of us. It's really, really awesome to just have um, people like this that we can go into their books and actually get some fundamental um, biblical sound doctrine and um, uh, a direction, um, biblical direction and focus. So thank you everyone for listening. Um, I want, As I said, I want to keep these videos as short as possible. Um, so I'm not it's not too, not too long elongated and, and boring and droning on and on and on um, but I thank you I thank you for listening but you know I just want you guys to get something out of it like I'm getting something out of it that's all it is that's all it is and um, if you if you need prayer um, please sure to hit me up here on, in the comments section or hit me up on Facebook God's Untainted Word on Facebook it's about the same way as the YouTube channel um, and just you know and just yeah, message me on there, or um, you know, put a post up on there, to, you know, and just that's it. I'm I, I don't I'm not one to promote my page or anything like that because this page is for God, um, this YouTube channel is for God, so I'm, I'm I don't tell people to subscribe, I don't tell people to um, like the video or whatever. It's not about that. I don't care if no one listens to this. I'm doing God's work. I'm doing what God's leading me to do. And I really hope that it does reach some people. I, I truly do. So I thank you. Um, as I said, give all glory to, um, to, to God, of course. And um, we will continue this. I'll try and upload all the videos. There's three more to come of the study, um, with the study with the three, the three final steps. And then we might do some... I'll, I'll read through the study questions before I do the video. Um, if there are some good questions to ask and then answer, that's good. Um, and then I might just do an extra, in that last video, I might do a closing prayer also um, with the study questions, doing a closing prayer. And also I might do just let you know about some of the other Derek Prince books out there that are, are good um, or not. I don't know. See what the spirit leads. That's the main thing. So thank you, everyone. I uh, give all glory and praise to uh, God and um Without you guys, though, you know, without all of us being Christians here in this world and, and, and seeking after God, you know, um, God's word would not be known amongst the people. And that's the point where we're disciples of Christ called to go out there and preach the gospel and, 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 and show people the light and the truth and, and show that, that people <laughs> that were not worthless, um, worthless beings that have no true um purpose in life you know so anyway thank you everyone uh and yeah i i i love you all and god bless